Mary's in Boise, Idaho. Hi, Mary. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hello. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Um, I have a, I have a question about um, gift giving and gift receiving at the holidays. Um, my husband and I are we don't have any debt other than like no credit card debt, no student loan debt. Um, we do have some automobile debt, not home, of course. So we're rapidly paying those off, and every year we tell our siblings. I have three siblings. My husband has two. We have a total of 11 nieces and nephews, plus our parents. We just say, no gifts. We just want to see you. We just want to hang out. And every year we find out everybody's getting us gifts. And then last, excuse me, last minute we all we decide to buy them something. But it doesn't feel like it's coming from the heart. So I guess my question is, is it cheap of us to know that we're going to be receiving gifts and not give gifts? because we're focusing on ourselves or is this the time when we just put our financial goals aside so that we can gift people with something? I don't think you're cheap. cheap. I I personally don't think you're cheap. I think forced generosity where I'm, I'm giving you something and I'm expecting something in return. That is not the spirit of giving to begin with. Uh, So if you've had Mm -hmm. that conversation and they are resentful of you, then you can't carry that. That's not on I don't, you. I don't feel like there's resentment there. It's, it's guilt just on your too end. Bad. We're gonna we're gonna give you something anyway. So then, so it's just it's, I guess it's just in between our ears where we feel like we're being cheap by not getting everybody something. Yeah. But I mean, if you do well, the math. Let you me, know, let me just tell, rega- you, you can do whatever you want to do. Obviously, any family can do whatever they mm-hmm. want to do. Um, our families years ago, when Sharon and I went broke, we sat down with all of her brothers and sisters. There's 13 grandkids on that side, um, and, uh, five brothers and sisters and spouses, right? So Mm -hmm. there's 20 something people involved uh, and going into Christmas at her folks as an example. All right. And we had to sit down with them and we said, guys, we're really sorry. Um, we cannot afford to buy everybody a gift. And so... We're begging you guys to join us in this. It's kind of gotten ridiculous anyway. And let's the, mm-hmm. let, the, let the adults draw names and each one buy one a gift. And, and little kids that are under whatever, 10 or something, get gifts, and the rest of them are in the drawing, you know, um, okay. or, or whatever thing. And would you all join us in this? Because we don't want to come in here and feel guilty. And if you all are all going to give each other gifts and we're going to be sitting here feeling guilty, we're not going to be able to come because we don't want to sit here in that. Mm, okay. And you know what? They went, thank God, somebody said it out loud. We always were thinking the same thing. They weren't even broke, and they were just glad to draw names because it gets just dumb anyway, right? I mean, you're buying somebody, you see something, you see four or five times a year a gift, and they've already mm-hmm. bought anything they really wanted, and so it goes in a drawer right. or it's thrown away or it ends up in the seldom-used kitchen items bin or whatever it is, you know? And so it's it starts to be silly, really. Yeah. In in most families. Now, some families are unbelievably into it and whatever. That's fine. But uh, I I would just have a conversation. Please don't put us in this position. And and then I guess my next question is when you get to the step of give wealth and get, uh, you know, gain wealth and give or um, I'm I'm messing it up. Listen, we're Um, we're extremely wealthy and our kids, the Ramsey kids got together at Thanksgiving and drew names. As a matter of fact, there's an app that oh. you can use to draw names. Okay. I found that out at the Thanksgiving table this year. There's an app for that. Of course, Rachel knows there's an app for drawing names, mm-hmm. right? And I think it's more fun anyways that way. And yeah. then no one's going, well, he got three gifts and I got two and his were worth more. than." And it just becomes a weird spirit to the whole but, thing. I mean, our kids can afford yeah. to give each other anything they want to give them, and we can afford to give them anything we want to give them. It's ridiculous. And we don't. We don't. I mean, we, we just we give... We're, we drew names and we're going to do that. And, you know, now Mimi's well, going to. You know, our philosophy is, you know, just spending time with each other. That's yeah. all the gifts we want. Even if we were millionaires, it's like, I just want to well, spend that, time with Well, that's the point. That's the point. Yeah. And so we do yeah. one gift in the spirit of gift giving for adults. Okay. And all the little kids get gifts. And it's fun to watch the little seven-year-olds get gifts. That's fine. That usually doesn't kill you. But it's just the the, the, the big thing here is the manipulation of the relationship process to where you you ask them not to put you into this position. And you'll probably find that somebody will go along and you may have to kind of draw a line and go, you know, 
we're just not going to be able to be here if you're going to put us in this position because we just don't think that way. And, you know, we'll get with you another time. And uh, we're not going to sit here and watch all y'all open gifts and we didn't buy them. That's just That's weird. Awkward. That's awkward as crud. That's just weird. I don't want to be, I'm, I don't want to be guilt tripped intentionally or unintentionally or in my own ear, between my own ears or whatever. It's it's a difficult time. You know, the beauty, Georgia, of this time of year is you get to see your family. The, the bad thing is you get to see your family. <laughs> Both and. <laughs> That's t- I mean, our cousins sit around. We're adults now, and we just give each other a twenty-five dollar gift card, and I get a twenty-five dollar gift card. I mean, the card dirty and- Santa stuff is a lot more fun. Yes, the gag gifts, have yeah, fun with it, steal from each other. That's a lot other, more fun. Set a gift limit. I think that should be the new trend this Christmas.